Hello guys, I it's a girl blessing. Sorry, I'm just putting a little wrestling on my lips. I think my lips is too dry. Ah, uh, how are you guys doing? I it's everything. I don't want it's looking too too dry. I think it's better now. Hi, hi guys. I thank you for the congratulating congratulatory message for my marriage a lot of um video is going to be coming up um planning to feature some people i've been away for a while um featuring myself in a video because like you see a lot has been going on and it's not been funny it's not been funny at all but we give glory to god just want to thank God for His grace, His mercy. I love testimonies. Um, I'm going to share, and there are a lot of things I'm going to put out there. Content that is coming up, but today I just want to talk about um few few things that I feel will make a child successful. If the family um, is able to put these few things in place for that child. So looking back at my marriage, looking back at my life, I've been thinking a lot. And I realize my family is the foundation of my success. When I say my family is the foundation, God is the ultimate purpose, is the ultimate foundation. Christ is the rock, is everything. The Holy Spirit is great. But physically, I'm talking about human relationship right now. Yes, we have God. We have the gift of the Holy Spirit. We have the word of God. Um, in dealing with human relationship, the physical things, thing or things, sorry, things, yeah. List of things that a child should get from their family to become successful, right? So... In saying this, I'm going to start with one. The gifts that my family gave to me that I'm grateful for. That I wish and pray and hope that every child out there gets it. Some of those gifts, I got it late in life. But it, it still formed the woman I am. Because looking back at my growth, I would have been horrible, terrible if I had not gotten these gifts. Whether they came in late or they came in later. Or early it doesn't matter i got it right the first gift is that they gave it to me right my mother and father came together and they did it too and they gave it to me right so which is the first thing parents would do is to give it to a child come together enjoy themselves and produce results the second thing is uh, it, this other thing might not necessarily come from the family, but it should come from the family as a found, physical foundation of the child. Second thing is I got born again. My brother got me born again. Hooray! Well, shout out to Pastor James. <laughs> he got me born again and he got um, he guided me to church, right? This is the Christian walk. Guided me to church, took me to church, made sure I was involved in the things of God, right? And filled me with the Holy Spirit. He led me to speak in tongues. He encouraged me in the things of God. I remember when I was young and as young as 10, 11, I was given opportunity to, involve in, to get involved in a lot of church programs, with going to church activities. Sometimes I come home late and people look at me and be like, oh, you're bold. And I remember... Those nights, I'm walking alone. The boldness I got of the Holy Spirit, that he led me. Let the Spirit of God lead. I did not say you can't do it. He led me and he led my brother to give me the opportunity. So as at 11, past 11 p.m. to 12, I would be walking home with such boldness. It's my girl. And I'm not saying people should do it, but that was by the leading of the Holy Spirit. I was serving God and as at... 10 plus, I was filled with the Holy Spirit. I was I was doing things for Christ. I was holding crusade in school. And I'm grateful I did that. 
The Bible said, remember that I created in the days of their youth. So imagine me working with boldness at such nights and I, I'm not saying anybody should do it, but it's, it was by the leading of the Spirit of God, both for my brother, which, was, which is like my father, and myself. So I talked about getting filled with the Holy Spirit as a third gift. The fourth gift is my family gave me the privilege to be educated. Education is both academic and moral education. So even till this point, I have people in my family that I'm accountable to, right? While they trained me to school, my family took me to school, gave me education, and made sure I have education and taught me the value of education. It's what I'm deeply grateful for because education, apart from just going to school and reading book, exposes you to a new world of experience. The four corners of the university, the first time I had to stay and be responsible for myself was when I went to the university. Ah, that day I cried. Until I said, God bless you. <laughs> Twice for my master's and my BSc. Funny enough, I was telling my auntie, I was like, I cried, I cried, and I cried, I cried, I cried, I cried in your house. I left from your house. <laughs> it's a blessing. That's a big, big blessing that I got, and I'm really deeply grateful. I don't take it for granted. And looking back, I'm grateful. I'm really grateful. And it's a gift. Even if it's the lowest possible education, give to that child. Give to that child. It will make the child a success, right? Then, my family also, apart from education, they made sure some of the skills I have, my family supported me in getting it. They supported me in getting those skills. So you can help a child get trading. I remember when I told my brother and father, I've learned different things in this my life. They Lauren. So that's to say that education is beyond just going to school, but includes going to school, acquiring skills, and learning morals. Morals like cleaning the house, right? Keeping the house clean. Hey, Auntie Jane, I hear you this one. <laughs> Auntie Jane can clean for Africa. Like, she doesn't want to feel any sand on that leg. And I, when I'm going to be abroad, I'm putting to stay with different members of my family. So it's a privilege learning different things from different people and being the cutie kitty of the house. So I like learning cleanliness, how to cook. It's Adam, mommy, right? Learning how to cook, learning how to clean, learning how to respect people. When, when a child is misbehaving, correcting and chastising and flogging. Daddy, I hear you. <laughs> and flogging. Correcting the child with the rug. <laughs> the rod. Not really flogging, flogging like that. But chastising the child and correcting the child. Morals, basically, right? It's what my family gave me. And that formed me, right? It formed me. And as I grow older... Even there are some things I'll do right now. I'm talking to my auntie and, and I say so. And like, this is not a blessing I know. <laughs> this is not a blessing I know. And I'm like, that, that is true. Even me, I don't know I'm doing this. So there are some things I I am gradually unlearning with family, right? And thanks to my husband right now, his family. I'm, I'm gradually unlearning, right? So education, skill acquisition, moral education then the fifth thing i'm grateful that my family gave me so i'm going to look at my notes is that my family taught me how not uh, how not to just appreciate the fish i receive but to also catch my own fish so basically i wasn't just giving oh you need this you need this right i was shown i was taught my first investment um, savings was taught to me by my brother, right? He he told me when I said, and he told me when I was um, I was younger, right? I had several. 
to to people in my local oh, no, no no but i had several coaching financial coaching that taught me the value of savings the value of investment the value of the spending power spending less than you earn right so it's created in me a sense of value a sense of giving out value a sense of doing things to 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 giving out value to get value back right and time management it taught me this simple principles taught me the importance of finances the importance of how to catch fish so you don't just give a child fish but you teach that child how to catch fish that's the first book i received from my brother i think that was my 11th birthday it was a bible they asked me oh what do you need and as at that time i was already i was born again i was growing and on i was like um a dick study bible i need a dick i want a dick study bible and I, I was given a dick study bible and i was given the first book rich dad poor dad by robert kiyosaki so we had rich dad poor dad normal we had rich dad poor dad for teens right so that i was given and i'm grateful i read that book so that's part of the things that i was given that helped me not just to know how to so teach your child your children financial literacy teach them how to make money right over time it will help them create wealth then don't just give them the fish the wealth the money teach them how to manage it teach them how to multiply it then the sixth thing i the sixth gift i got from my family is i learned the true definition of love right so family is where i learned the true definition of love family is where i learned that i can go do whatever i want to do make the mistakes i want to make and come back and still be received right i, I, I might be chastised with one hand but the other hand will they will pull me back that unconditional love that love that do not judge right will chastise you but do not judge right so family allowed me to understand the true definition of love then the seventh thing that family gave me, the gifts family gave me is family allowed me to make mistakes while growing and learning, right? So I got statements from my family like, um, you're young, explore. So basically when I want, I have a plan, I take it to my family and I'm grateful I have me mentors in different areas of life in my family right i see people ahead of me maybe because of the position i occupy right but still in the absence of so many people like i'm opportunity to have parents can be the this mentors and the children so parents were able to be living examples to their children family allowed me make mistakes they showed me even in your mistake i got you like i got you but you still have to use sense. No go over do mistake. But they permission before you do, right? But I'm grateful they allowed me because there are things I learned and unlearned. There are risks I took, right? Risk I took that took me through a path and I grew through the process. I learned through the process. There are things I had to go to to learn forgiveness, unconditional forgiveness, and things I have to go through to learn about relationships. So that's a gift family gave me and um, family gave me the gift of continual support. So emotionally, I've been supported by my family, right? When something happens to me, hits me hard, I have people in my family, I could pick up the phone and call to say, this is where I am, I'm stuck right now. <laughs> I have people that will pray with me I have people that will speak words of life to me. I have people that will speak words that will literally pull me out. I have people that will challenge me to say, I need to see this. You need to do this. Get back to me. <laughs> people I'm accountable to. Right? Yeah. So um, I have that continual support. 
then I have people that say, take that risk, I'm with you. So it's basically a blessing that every child in the little, smallest way should get that support to chase their dreams, should get that support to achieve whatever they can imagine. It's a blessing that a family can give a child, right? And family gave me mentors and role models and in different areas, different business-wise, spiritual-wise, character-wise, marriage-wise. I have so many. I'm blessed, right? But in the absence of so many, the child's parents should... Sorry, I had something to do quickly. Then I came back to continue recording. So in the absence of... I was saying the child's parents, in the absence of so many... Um, guide should fill in that position that means they have to play different um roles in the life of the child which is a blessing um the final thing i'm going to talk about this is not all but it's just my list for now the final thing i'm going to talk about is humility so i learned humility in the family like not from everybody but looking at certain people um i i picked up the character of humility and i look at some of my siblings i'm like okay i i want to pick this from this person i want to pick this even with the life they live people live they don't have to even have to tell me do this or do that but i just pick things from those around me family members around me and i learn um a child is able to do pick the right things to learn when you give them the life of god and they have the life of god they have the holy spirit and then they are educated and informed they are they, they would be able to make informed and the right decisions um i hope this inspire parents to give the best to their children. And I want to use this opportunity to say a big thank you to everyone that has meaningfully contributed to my life. You are part of the reason I'm the woman I am today. I'm still growing. Life is a growth process and understand the importance of growth. There are things I will learn this year. There are things I'll learn next year. There are things I'll learn in a few years to come. 20 years, 100 years, as long as Jesus died, right? So I want to encourage everyone to keep growing. If you're a, a, a teen or a growing young person and you feel, oh, I don't have my parents to guide me, I want to tell you that God loves you, right? God loves you. God cares about you. God is interested in your life, right? And this moment, I'm going to do something very special very special because the first ingredient for success is to receive the life of God, which is one thing I'm grateful I got, right? So I'm going to lead you in prayer of salvation right now. You're going to repeat after me. Say, dear Lord Jesus, mean it with all your heart to accept Jesus into your life because that's the beginning of change, right? So dear Lord Jesus, thank you for your word for the message of salvation have come to me thank you for i accept you to my life as the, my lord and personal savior i thank you for your death on the cross of calvary i thank you for your resurrection for your burial and resurrection i thank you for the sacrifice you made for me lord jesus i declare you lord of my life i declare you king of my life and from this moment henceforth, I'm a child of God. I'm born again. I'm a new creature. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The life that I live is not my life. From today henceforth, my life is for God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Can I pray with you? Father, I thank you for my brother and sister that has given their life to Christ today. I thank you for, yes, the life is going on the perpetual victory parade in the name of jesus the spirit of god is helping them live a meaningful life in the name of the lord jesus no soul is lost and we're ready and preparing 
for the coming of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father, for loving us so dearly. Thank you for loving my brother. Thank you for loving my sister. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Congratulations. That's the beginning. So spend time studying the word of God with your Bible. You can grab a Bible, then go to a Bible-believing church. And I trust the Holy Spirit to guide your every decisions for today and sport. Please, if you've not kindly subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? Don't, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. So please kindly hit the subscribe button, the like, share, click on the notification, do whatever you want to do. It's our channel, right? And I love you all. See you in the next video with more interesting topic. God bless you. Bye-bye.